Lusaka Sacabo. Today is December 13, 2021, and it's day one of the start of the journey. Let's get it. This has been a little while in making. I wanted to give you something other than just the average content. It is not a vlog in the sense that I am probably not going to follow myself through the entire day. That would be boring as hell. But the most important part of my day is my morning walk. And I wanted to have some accountability and at the same time make it interesting for everybody else. <laughs> so hopefully if one person gets encouraged to start exercising or go back to their doctor or do whatever, I will have done my job. But what I'm planning on doing is a series. And today is day one of that journey. I'm not gonna tell you what the journey is towards, only that it's to get healthy. There is a purpose for this. But I will share with you the kinds of things I'm eating and drinking, like that green juice you just saw. I'm also gonna show you the stats based on both my Fitbit and the iPhone. I use the iPhone to listen to music in the morning and so it tracks how much I walk. The numbers are always different from the numbers on the Fitbit. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But it gives you a little bit of a, an idea of how much I'm walking every day. Normally on a good week I walk about 60,000 steps. I want to bring that up to 70,000. That would be an average of 10,000 steps a day. I don't walk every day of the week. I try to walk four times a week. I want to bring that up to at least five. Now, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I am dealing with some health issues that should make this impossible. If not impossible, almost impossible. And so one of the things that I have figured out is that every couple of months I need to take some time off. And as you can see on the screen, last week I didn't exercise at all. But as soon as Sunday hit, no, I did not do my 8,000 steps a day. But I did get as close as I could because I did walk yesterday. And so when you see this, just so you have a reference, I am pretty sure you're going to see this the day after I film it because patrons have access to it first. So if you want to see it on the day that it happens, then you have to go ahead and go to Patreon. It's only a dollar. It's under Metamorphosis Rock's name. But I want to give you certain things so that you know what to expect. Now, the scenery where I walk is amazing, as you can tell. But not all days are like that. Some days are going to be cloudy. Sometimes the waters will be choppy. Sometimes... Yeah, I will catch the sunrise at the perfect spot and sometimes in the middle of the walk that sucker comes out and you're like, really? You couldn't do it when I was over there when it was pretty? So, yeah, it happens. It's just like life. There are going to be moments when you're going to have everything perfect and there are going to be moments when it's not. And what I'm hoping to do is encourage other people that no matter where they are in life, they go ahead and take care of themselves and do something, whatever it is. I don't care if it's an artistic endeavor, if it's a hobby you want to pursue, if whatever it is, just go ahead and do it. Now, my goal is for the next three months, instead of two, for the next three months, to walk as many days as possible and see how it goes. Now, if you follow me on Metamorphosis Rocks, you know that I made myself a challenge of live streaming every day for the 31 days of December. And so far we're on day 13 and I've been able to do it all 13 days. Now, if everything goes okay on this challenge that I'm giving myself, we should have December from today. January, February, and a little bit of March before I take a week off to get a break. Give my legs a break. However, I will say two things. Number one, I believe I'm having the booster shot this week, so there might be, if I have a reaction, I have a reaction. And number two, and 
January, I'm planning on resuming what, if you've been here before, was called the mystery illness search, which means I'm going back to doctors and whatnot and having every possible allergic reaction, every possible test that you can imagine done on me. Those things might alter somewhat this challenge, but not enough for me to stop walking. Walking has been the one thing that has kept me sane in the last year and a half, almost two years. I started walking March of last year, and yeah, I haven't been very... No, that's not true. Let me say it this way. I was in the... Between March and October of last year, I was there all the time, all the time. Then... I have had my weeks when I am just in too much pain to go, and I have had my weeks when I've walked every day. It has not been the smoothest ride in the world. I have given up some things in the process, like I quit smoking, I quit soda. There are other quittings that are gonna happen between now and March, and I just wanna document everything and hopefully give somebody else a little bit of hope. So I hope you stay with me through this journey and that you enjoy what you see. And I leave you with a little thought that I wrote a while back when I started this journey. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.